Welcome to Dunge- Oh, sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the world is open. You can do almost anything you want to do. Sex! I built an airplane. Uh, for initiative. What? <laughs> plane fails. You are in uh, the world of- Say it out loud. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, that's the one. Dragonia. In the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker asked you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Phandalin, a couple of days travel southeast of the city. Gundren was clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brothers had found something big Ooh. and that he'd pay you 10 gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's Provisions, a trading post in Phandalin. He then set out ahead of you on horse, along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwinter, claiming he needed to get there early to take care of business. Whoa! I'm the penis. The first time you read that, were you like sitting in a bathtub with like rose petals? I was in a leather, high back leather chair, mm -hmm. uh, holding my, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. I hope you are all looking forward to a, an educating adventure. <laughs> Stay back, I apologize for my friend. What a uh, savage! Oh he's my god! Not, he's not book smart like you. Uh, my name is Harry Taxnapper. Oh, Harry, it's so <laughs> nice to meet a fellow man of education. I don't know if I'd say education. A fellow I, uh, man of, of intellect. Would you say you're myself. a man? I am definitely a man. But I'm going to retire from all these, uh, all these savages and read my book in the corner. Uh, let me know when we're ready to go. I storm off in a huff. Go, ready to go. Go, go where? Oh, I thought we already knew that we were. No, no, we don't know. We're not a party yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, Lawrence. I, Delvin Brickleback, uh, Ooh, slump like back in. Back. <laughs> slump back into my seat as I want no trouble, for I am only passing through to get home for the spring of break. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a river? <laughs> I'm down for whatever. Okay. So this guy just announces this to nobody at the at the bar. <laughs> I don't think we can make it all the way to Fanan 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 Fanan. The problem is we need someone who's able to read. All right. I can, that guy that you tried to punch Ooh, Lawrence, might be the perfect or, or, one. What's your name? I didn't say. He hasn't said. Oh, okay, so we're gonna right. have to punch him. I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll be I'll nice. Introduce just myself. go introduce I'll yourself. Introduce myself. Hey, I'm really sorry. My name's Reverend Crotch. <laughs> and uh, I, I uh, didn't mean to swing at you. I, I, you know, the ale took over. I was wondering if uh, you'd like to take off, take a go, go a journey to Vanillin. We're gonna go with Perry Tax Snapper or whatever your name is. I. <laughs> and uh, there is a possibility of loot. Loot, you say? Vanillin, you say? Wait, hold on. I, I'm oh. not talking to you. But we overheard. Yeah, they they piped. They oh, piped yeah. up. We overheard. Oh, yeah. Keep your voice loot. down when you're talking yeah. about loot. loot. You say? I have Wait, a fine loot. This, sir, oh, did you? Heard loot he thought he meant the instrument. I, I need loot. I have to loot, you say. Huh? I'm Bilbo Baggins, and I have a fine loot. I'm looking for better and more loot. Right, what do you think? Do you need you just room? needed someone who knew how to read. I Bilbo can read Bilbo. and I can sing. Fine, fine. Bring, bring him. I overheard your simpleton about loot and so, Riverdale. Yeah, are, right, where are you going? Right, you're in the group. Go. Cool. Well, good sir, what is your name before next time I try to punch you? You don't need to know my name. Just keep me away from your vicious pugilism again. I suppose we'll be moving on now. And I just kind of like waddle out to the door. So we're supposed to move on if we don't know what his name is. On the way out, we're all, we're all walking out, and uh, I, Reverend Crotch, uh, look back and I say, Yeah, we see him in the back of the bar. It's kind of rooted. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should get him? Yeah, yeah. So we push Pete's character aside. <laughs> <laughs> you there, sir! Uh, would you like to join our party? No. He immediately declines. Huh? Instead, we take th uh, this man. I don't know what you look like, but hey, fuck it, come on along. I'm just. A dock worker after work, drinking a beer, watching all of you say these things. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I worked as a porter, so I can drive your carriage if you need it, because I need money. We gladly pay you tomorrow for uh, a porting today. Would you like a loot? <sighs> no. I thought you were looking for Just Never go mind. to. The... Where's that flask? Where's it? Where is it? Oh, no, oh, there. Is a couple of oxen and a cart. That's your oh, cart. That's our cart. Lawrence, are you also on the cart? Yes. You think I'm going to walk? Come on. Can I be horseback? No, we don't know. Damn it. No, you, can. you can ride the oxen in the front if you want to. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, put me on the oxen. Right, you're gonna feel the lash of the whip occasionally. Whee! <laughs> if only there was a song to pass the time. Yeah, as you, we as go you. On adventure, we're gonna go and Shut up, Bilbo! You spend a few days trundling down the coast uh, until you get to the Tribor Trail. So let me do Tribor. That You've encountered no trouble so far, but this territory can be dangerous. 
Why are we um, going that way? As you come uh, along a bend in the road, you spot two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead of you. Oh, oh, transformer. Oh, not the... No. Giant horses. Us to come in from here. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> and then we shoot out. I feel like we should investigate these uh, horses. So here's what uh, Does anyone volunteer? I'm you just did. Me. I'll go with you. Dead. But we also need a warrior or a fighter. Literally. I'll go. Saddlebags with the horses have been looted, and nearby lies an empty map case. Well, adventure's over. Let's go home. Please have a better perception than me. Holy shit! Yes, I can see all! You gaze out into the woods and you become somehow one with the trees. You're warm! And you can feel what is right and what is wrong. And what is wrong that you notice, what is unnatural, is that there is a silence in the woods, there are no birds chirping. And what you also notice is the exact location of five fucking goblins. Five fucking, fucking goblins! goblins. <laughs> <laughs> well, Looks safe here. What? And then I say, we should go back because there's nothing Thinking here. to take you unaware as the goblins attack. Oh, I'm not done talking. Say, I'm roll over here so this camera. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's just a little bit of 16. Woo, woo. First, the uh, archers attack. Um, they have disadvantage because they're undercover. They're, they're shooting through the woods. Ooh, well. <laughs> <laughs> this goblin attacks and just totally whiffs it. <laughs> this goblin was distracted, so he shoots his arrow and he totally misses and hits this goblin. Nice! <laughs> oh, that's not good. He's like, yeah. damn it, Stan! You actually hear him say, in common, fucker. Okay. Oh. Uh, ah, see? These are things you gotta ask. These two guys hit. Um, one of them barely hit. Hit on Adam? Yeah, they hit on Adam. Uh, They're like, hey. I saw your channel tonight. Yeah. Ah, fucker! Fucking mage over here, he's got his nose in the book. That's a lot of spells. Have you been in battle before? I've seen some shit. You don't quite hit him in between the eyes. It goes like oh, into his no. mouth and into his brain, oh. but he's fucking dead. Nice. And then I go, Should've gotten it between the eyes. Yeah. I have a position of privilege. Did you know this? Did you share this with him on the trip? Because you can't- No, but you should know this because it says, thanks to your noble birth, people are inclined to think the best of you. You can't just <laughs> shout that to him when it's his turn. Hey, oh, wait, wait, I'm of noble heal. birth! I'm gonna heal Adam because I saw him get- take, What's take what's take the range of your heal spell? I think it's 60. Okay, you're good. Sing you're me right. a song you're of good. healing, no, noble yeah, no, it's fine. dragons. It's fine. Dearest Adam, I am healing That's not his name. My name's I'm, Delvin. The god. I'm, I'm healing the god Adam! He's the god Adam. Dearest Adam, I need you to heal this man, for he is noble of birth, I've heard. He needs help because he had a sort of his penis. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we'll, we'll... I like the part where it all rhymes. <laughs> it's not healing at all. He's so just doing words a big or triangle. something. Yeah. He starts yeah. strangling me and with then... guitar wire. The power of education compels you to fall asleep. It's getting you! Do I fight my hero? <laughs> Burn our hand! No. Oh, no. One closest to you, Joel. You fucking happy, Joel? Oh man, why did you rules? Holy shit, I'm in so much pain! Delvin notices a tree. Who cares about this shit? Okay, now you look like a talk show. You've got the desk. Alright, let's talk about political shit. Guns and abortion. Uh, All day long. The gun, so the gun one's the gun oh, fucking leave. They love that stuff. But the gun one is the one that- So I'm a god? No, no, that's like- The Great Will of Damien! But it's like they don't, they don't understand the reality. The worst part is they don't realize that the real thing is fighting with Rome. The Atlantic is 